Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to show you how to use Insert Object in Microsoft Word to combine multiple Word documents. So I actually have three documents. I have one called Staffing Report that only has one page. I have a second document, Budget Report. Budget Report has four pages and it has a header up in the top right hand corner. The third Word document is called New Products. New Products has a header and I intentionally put it up in the top left hand corner. And just so you know this, this one is Landscape. The other two are Portrait. So let's see if I can't combine them all at one time. So I'm going to close New Products, which was Landscape. I'm going to close Budget Report, which was Portrait, had a header, and I'm back in the first document. So here's the trick to doing this. If I go and do an insert, I'm going to show you what won't work in case I'm basically just troubleshooting already. So if I go to Layout Breaks and put in a page break, so I'm on page two, then I'm going to go to Insert, over in the text group is Object don't click the icon because if you do you're going to get this screen right here create new and create from file what I want to do is use the arrow and select text from file I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find budget report this is the one that was portrait and had the header in the top right hand corner I'm going to select insert and it pulled the document in. The issue is the header's missing because someone actually called me and asked me this recently. So I'm going to do an undo, undo. I'm back to just my initial document staffing report. So here's the trick. If you want to keep the headers of the other documents you're going to pull in, you need to go to the layout tab and do a break but it has to be a section break next page. So now I'm on page two, same exact steps. Insert, hit the arrow, text from file. I'm going to select budget report, insert, and it should come in with a header in the top right hand corner, and it did. I do want to point out one little item. I'm going to go to the top real quick with control home. So here's page one, the initial document. Page two starts the budget report that I pulled in. But it was initially named page one. So if for some reason this first page is some type of cover page and you want to tweak this page numbering, you can. Just double click in here. I'm on page two. Notice it's got it in gray. Header and footer tab is available page number, format page number, start at the number one immediately appears and I hit OK. So now page two of the document is actually named page one if you need that. So let me go and do one more now. So again one last time I'm at the end of the document. So we've learned a page break does not work here. If you want to keep your headers and footers it is section break next page and then it's going to be insert text from file and here comes new products which actually had the header over to the left page four page three page two page one so here we go we're on page four one thing that doesn't happen is this needs to go landscape. It'll pull the document in correctly, but it won't do orientation, which is landscape, orientation, landscape. I'm going to zoom out just to get a quick feel if this worked. It did. Portrait all the way down, and then this one goes landscape. And then to fix these page numbers, let me see where I left off at, page four. I would double click here. Again, I'm right on the number one, it's in gray. Page number, 
format page number, continue from previous section, and that took care of it. So that is how using section breaks next page and using insert, hit the drop down, don't pick object, do text from file. You can pull multiple documents and combine them. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep the questions coming. Thank you for your time.